Housed inside an old Victorian home, the Catfish Plantation is Waxahachie's most iconic restaurant, and it serves up good old-fashioned country cooking. But what makes this place especially unique is that all the cooking comes with a side of paranormal activity. Don't believe me? Just flip through these binders, which are full of customer experiences and photos. The mother, Sean, is the executive chef, and here's her daughter, Amelia, and father, Dr. Landis, to tell us more. All right, so I was gonna ask y'all about the historic architecture of the house, but I think I need to start on- Okay, stop. Oh, some dude said, stop. Oh, there's something interfering in this room. Hmm. Sometimes they do interfere when we do filming or investigations and stuff. I promise this isn't staged. Maybe the ghosts are more Texas Country Reporter fans. The thing is with the activity, we're rated in the top 50 most uh, consistently active in the U.S. When we do investigations, we generally always get something. Floating orbs and photos, taps on the shoulder. They've seen almost everything. Like sometimes you'll come in and things aren't where you left them or something's knocked over. There's strange things that happen. One of the busiest nights that we ever had, all the lights in this room went out. Our light switches are behind the dumbwaiter. Someone had to have uh, walked in, opened the dumbwaiter, and turned off the light. Yeah, and without, without being seen. Seen, uh-huh. <laughs> most of my guests claim that the bathroom is the most haunted place in the restaurant. I've had this personally happen. The door lock popped, and a man walked up, and I could hear him open the hallway door, walk in there, open the restroom door, and I'm like, are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> the kind yeah. of mischievous things. Don't be scared, y'all. I'd live here too if I were a ghost, just so I could eat the food. Assuming ghosts can eat human food. I'm gonna pull a paranormal activity and make some onion rings disappear. These look awesome. That's a big onion ring. Oh, these are so good. I remember the first time I ate here, I was blown away that this is some of the best catfish I've had traveling Texas. What sets us apart from other places is that we do not order anything pre-battered. We batter everything by hand, we cook everything. We put a lot of time and effort into our recipes. As they say, come for the ghosts, come back for the food. But I wonder what the ghosts are. They think one may be a lady who used to live here, but there's a lot of things that might haunt this place. Either way, it's time to eat. Whoo, all right, here we go. Catfish platter, right? You're gonna come to the catfish plantation, you go with the house specialty. I got half Cajun style, which is kind of a, a spicy batter, and then half regular, but both of them are hand battered. Woo! And it's fresh out of the grease. I'm gonna have to let that cool off a little bit. See that? Mmm. Oh yeah. I love me some country fried catfish. Usually it's reserved for, you know, like, uh, Places with peanut shells on the floor and like, you know, old wagons hanging on the wall, things like that. I gotta say, this is the most unique place you can eat fried catfish in Texas, without a doubt. Oh, the Cajun catfish is where it's at. It's almost like, like the whole thing was soaked in hot sauce, like buffalo catfish. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. That's so good. Yeah. No, oh, it's a ghost! It's a catfish ghost! Because I'm eating your family! Oh, wait. wait, Daniel, if you're controlling the ghost catfish, does that mean you're a ghost too? Ah! This is so bad. That's enough. All right. You'll just have to come and have your own cat normal experience. Howdy y'all. Thanks for sticking around and tripping Texas with us. Have you ever been to this spot? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. Or leave us a comment about a place that we've missed. And if you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com where we have all kinds of travel guides, t-shirts, and all kinds of Texas goods that we've found during our travels all across the great state of Texas. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.